Coming up next, a UFC welterweight division matchup. All right, so here he is, one of the more prolific takedown artists in the UFC at present. And when you get some praise from Daniel Cormier, when it comes to your offensive takedown game, you know you're doing something right. And we talk about wrestlers and judo players and grapplers, but this guy just combines all of that. He is able to use foot sweeps from the grappling game. He is able to use throws from judo, and he's able to use wrestling in the, from the wrestling game to take people down. He has an array of takedowns at his disposal, and he uses every single one of them from the speed of the level change to the timing to the knowledge of where to go next when the guy starts to defend, he's truly, truly something special. I don't think he could take you down, but tonight he doesn't have to. So he does not in have this to. matchup, prevailing wisdom is he'll be able to get this fight to the canvas. All right, so we get another look at this high-level wrestler here tonight, DC. When it comes to the grappling, the wrestling, Fighting this guy makes for a really hard night at the office. It makes for a hard night because the moment he gets close to you, it's like a fly stuck in flypaper. He sticks to you like glue. He moves from position to position seamlessly. He possesses great takedowns from the clinch, from a nice inside trip to a bear hug or a throw. He's just one of those guys that the moment he comes into contact with you, a lifetime of wrestling has shown him an amazing ability to get you to the floor. Yeah, all of that one-on-one -on -one competition, as you mentioned, great in transition, big spot, needless to say, for him here tonight. Our tale of the tape for this highly anticipated welterweight fight. So at least on paper, even match up here, a lot of similarities across the board, evenly matched when it comes to the numbers. And now for the particulars, here's Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. And when the action begins, our referee in charge of the octagon, Dan Mergliata. And now, this is the moment UFC fans around the world have been waiting for. Live from the sold out Prudential Center in Newark, New Jersey! It's time! Five rounds in the UFC welterweight division. Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner. This man is a mixed martial artist, holding a professional record of 22 wins, five losses. He stands five feet ten inches tall, weighing in at 170 pounds, fighting out of Boca Raton, Florida, Gilbert Durinho Burns! And now we produce his opponent, fighting out of the red corner. This man is a wrestler, holding a professional record of 22 wins, three losses. He stands five feet 11 inches tall, weighing in at 170 pounds, fighting out of Chicago, Illinois, Bola! Remember the name, Muhammad! All right, go through the rules of the locker room. I want you to obey my commands at all times, protect yourself at all times. On a nice, clean, safe fight. Touch gloves, go back to your corners, come out fighting. The fight is now underway on one side with a fighter who does everything well, taking on a true grappler on the other side. And we just have to see how long he can keep it up. I mean, Damian Maya may be the most specialist type of grappler in the UFC. This guy resembles him in a number of ways. Let's see how he manages this fight against a guy that can do just about everything inside the outfit. Oh, nice connection there with a the punch, DC. Great time to land that punch. Now he's got the Muay Thai plunk. Oh, stuffs the takedown without issue. Oh, man, look at that. Picture perfect. Got to the leg, got to his position, got another beautiful takedown. How good is that right hand? 
How about the speed on that reversal there? I mean, I know you can get out of some bad spots, but not with that type of speed. You cannot allow him to get leverage on the bottom. What a sweep. Oh, nice headlock. He is doing a really good job of relaxing, not panicking because he's getting choked. snapping his arm. Right. Sometimes it's better to live to fight another day, but hats off to this fighter on a great submission victory. All right, so a wild round and a wild sequence there on the ground, DC. Talk us through the highlight. He's such a phenomenal grappler. I don't understand how people don't know that this guy wants to submit you. He is the best grappler, best submission specialist we've seen in a long time. So there he is, your winner by submission. That could hold up as one of the better subs of the year. Near-perfect execution tonight. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Dan Bergliano has called a stop to this contest at two minutes, 14 seconds of the very first round. Declaring the winner by tap out due to an arm bar, Gilbert Durinho! So what a performance by this young man here tonight as he gets the win by way of submission. He certainly put a lot of stock into getting the finish tonight, and he did just that. Congratulations. It was a very tough fight, but he knew that if he did everything right, he can get to his position, which is the ground, and he would be able to find a finish by submission tonight. He did just that.